Hello, this is how we're going to put on the ta-da. Get going. Okay, so right now he's quite deflated. He's about half full. Yeah. And when you pick him up, he looks around about this tall. on the back, so you can't really even see it, you've got to actually go and find it. So there it is. So it unzips. Like so. Getting there. So this is where you hop in. So his head is made out of foam, so you can see the foam that's there for the head. But it's also got a little gap in the middle, of course, for your head. I'll zoom the camera in later so you can see it better. Um, some polyfilm. So yes, there's two layers. There's the Totoro skin layer, which, which has one zip. And then there's also this black ninja suit that, where is it? On the inside. So you want to hop into the black ninja suit. And when you put your legs into the black ninja suit, it'll eventually lead you all the way down to his feet in the bottom and they have slippers in the bottom. I'll try and do that now actually, just have, have a go putting it on by myself. Normally you do this with a helper, so it's a lot easier. But yeah, just feeling my legs. You can feel where his foot is. There. Got one foot in. Let's do the other one. Shot. So this is, this one's one of the arms, so you can see the arms you can put in there, you can put your arms in his arms, or you could have them in the belly area. Where's the other foot? Right there. I can feel the foot. It's in. So yeah, you put this side, and then you just kind of Put your, put your head into there and you're wearing him like this. Yay! What am I kicking? Whee! Ta-da! Can you see the feet? Ta-da! Ta-da! So then you can put your hands inside his hands like this. And then you can take them out and have them in the belly area. And then you can also put your hands up into your face because there's like a little hole on the inside so you can put your hands to touch your face and get the hair out of your eyes and yeah, whatever. So yeah, there he is. Oh, he's in pretty good condition. He's only been worn, I think, three times. Yeah, three big conventions. That would have been Armageddon twice and then around the house a couple of times just for fun. We have friends over. Yeah. But he's so cute. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> and of course, you can see his tail, maybe. Ah. And my butt. <laughs> there it is. Shake, shake, shake. But yeah, you don't really need too much foam or polyfill padding on the back. Mostly just the front area. But of course, if you put polyfill in between, it'll kind of shift over to the back a little bit. But you're mostly protected from the polyfill by wearing the black ninja suit. So it's not getting all over you as well. Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to make the zipper on the back a lot bigger. So coming up to his head and then a little bit lower so when you bend over and get into him it'll be a lot easier because at the moment I pretty much have to put my butt out put him in like this let's see if I can do this by myself ah. no I did it there we go Yay. so his hands aren't very full at the moment I'll try and pull some foam out to get them a bit more Foamy looking. There we go. Yay! <laughs> but as you can see, 
It's not really zipped up at the back because you need someone to do that. Because you can't do that yourself. <laughs> Whee! And then you can let go. So let go of these. And right now my arms are in the belly. See? show you how I get out by myself, eh? Okay. <laughs> Look at my side. Ah. But, so yeah, you want to poke your butt out first and then slide your head out. Obviously you have to undo both zippers, the inside flat zipper and then this one. And then just slide your legs out. Someone might have to hold the foot down yeah, so you can like slide it out better. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and the other foot. There we go. Oh, that's why. I'm not even wearing freaking socks. So you want to wear socks so your feet can come out a lot better. But yeah, as you can see, just his head. If I turn it around this way, from the very top down here, this is all a solid piece of foam. Solid piece of foam, around the back is foam, and then you've got your space for your head to fit in. His ears are foam as well, like solid, so they always stay up. You can smack them, but they're always going to spring back up. So that's very nice. Very, very nice. Um, what else can I show you? His whiskers. His whiskers are very bendable. In the back, to perfection. Okay, let's see. Close up of the whiskers, so you can see what they look like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's his eyes. So lovely. So that's just um, buck ramp, and you see through here. But obviously they're like here and here, so they're quite far apart from each other. So you turn your head, you can look at the side. Turn your head, you can look at the other. But you mostly look out of the nose, which again is um, got the buckram on it but it's so this is a uh, clay that's been baked in the oven and then this is on top of it so it looks just normal black from afar but yeah that's what you do most of your seeing out of and of course the other eye has the buckram on it as well yeah this bear is looking lovely probably needs a little bit of a brush because he's been just sitting in the bedroom for a while I've just been using him as a cool little ornament in the bedroom he stares at us as we sleep. Ah, fall over. Here's <laughs> his lovely toe. Pop. His, oh yeah, I was gonna, oh, I'll show you his hands. So this is the, one of his hands, his thumb, and his four fingers. One, two, three, they're st very sturdy, very sturdy to the hand. Um, let's have a look, flip them. Over you go. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> so here's his feetsies. So both of his fingers and his toes are made out of a fake leather material. His feet are made out of the same stiff foam that his whiskers are made out of. So, I mean, been, he's been around. He's done quite a few laps around the arenas at Armageddon, Comic Con type events, and they seem to be doing just fine. I mean, it's not like I run around on gravel outside with him, so. As long as it's an, a pretty flat surface you're running around on. I mean, you don't want to be running up hills or on gravel, slippery surfaces anyway. Otherwise, you'll probably face plant. Not that that would hurt, because <laughs> I face plant and just land on my back in him all the time, because it's really fun. It's nice and soft. What's that? Thingy stuck in his fur. So yeah, do he is. Looking so gorgeous. Shall we go look at closer inside of me? Flip you over again. But yes, this is his skin, obviously. There's the polyfill that's um, on the front of him. But I would suggest getting a piece, um, some foam. Oh, here, yeah, actually. This kind of foam. So it's about, I think they call it one inch foam. 
and maybe cutting out a nice circular shape and putting that on his belly and then using a bit of this to stick in behind it would probably be best to puff it out. I haven't tried it yet because I've only ever worn him with this stuff for whatever reason. Um, let's have a look. Okay, so here's the ninja suit, which of course I can adjust as well. So for whatever size the winner is, I can just make this a lot bigger for them. Yep, just hop in there. So the ninja suit is connected to the head. So the foam can't get into your face unless, you know, because it's got that little hole by your face so you can slip your hands in it. Bloop. Um, it's going to kind of be probably a little bit too hard to show that area on camera. Ah, can you see in there? See that hole right there that you see, right? Right there! That's the nose. See, that's just, it's bare open foam at the moment, but I'll, I'll cover that with some nice covering so that it's not just bare open foam on your face. So, yeah. He'll get a, a nice upgrade before being shipped out, of course, so the sphere will be all nicely brushed and the foam will be nice and covered and just anything else I think needing to be done on him I'll do some quick repairs because of course I want him looking beautiful for his future cons he's such a lovely lovely character <laughs> he always looks so funny when you just leave him deflated <laughs> he kind of looks like Jabba the Hutt oh no oh no for him, I am. Um, you first off, you always want to stay super hydrated, or you'll pass out and die. <laughs> Don't let that put you off. Anyway, so I bought this vest online, Tech Fuel, whatever, and it came with. Oh, well, I think yes. Did it come? It came with four of these, these jelly pack thingies. You put them in the fridge, and I mean the fridge, not even the freezer. You can put it in the freezer, but it'll do its job either way. It'll freeze after about half an hour to an hour. And then you just slide these into the pouches. So the, we've got pouches on the inside of this on the front and also on the back. So I'd suggest getting a suit, something like this with the full packs. So you've got it on your chest and your back. And that'll just be a super good lifesaver to keep you cool because that's, especially if you're running around for like, I say an hour or two, you're gonna get very, very hot inside of that. The second thing to wear is, this is just a, what do you call it? One of those morph suits? Well, this one's just a cheap knockoff of a morph suit, but he's an army one and he's inside out. But if you wear one of these, I find it super helpful to be able to just slide into his feet and slide in and out of the costume because sometimes when you get a little bit sweaty, you stick to the inside of the costume and then getting out is very havoc. So much havoc. So get yourself one of these. This one was only 30 bucks. And that thing was, I think it was a bit more pricey at like a hundred, something like that. You can also buy these little gel packs and maybe even make yourself a vest. You can buy, buy these gel packs, I think, for 20 or 30 dollars. Not entirely sure. I'm sure you can find a bargain online. I think I got them off of Amazon. So yeah, have fun.